I'm Eric Simons, and this is Albert Pye. Uh, we are the co-creators of StackBlitz. Um, so for, for those of you that uh, weren't at our like, really short uh, presentation the other day, StackBlitz is an online IDE where you can really quickly uh, create Angular apps. So it's great for prototyping. Getting a local environment set up and running is like just a huge buzzkill. If you want to be better than your local environment uh, when you're prototyping, what matters? Well, it's got to be faster. You know, not just like a little bit faster, like it's got to be like 5x faster. Things have got to be like scream, right? How about installing packages, right? How many times do you hit npm install and then when grabbed a cup of coffee? Because it's taken so long. You come back, it's done, right? The, the, what happens after that, though? You know, there's all these new modules. You have to rebundle, have to recompile. That takes forever, right? So these are the two areas where we saw, you know, in the developer experience, uh, were really a huge buzzkill. We came up with two. Uh, pieces of technology that solve it. The first is a NPM client that works entirely within your browser. And we call it Turbo. And Turbo uh, operates at least five times faster on average than NPM and Yarn. And that's because it's super smart. So Turbo actually only installs the stuff your application needs, not just the entire tarball. On the bundler and dev server side, we created this thing called Hyperboot. Uh, and it basically allows you to do super fast rebundling. It's about five times faster than Browserfy or any other th the things out there, uh, largely because it's all in memory. Stackblitz itself is a PWA that lets you build PWAs like offline. So people will take Stackblitz, jump on a plane without internet, and they can keep on going. We have a lot of Angular specific stuff that makes prototyping and Stackblitz a total dream. And so you know, a couple of those are uh, one click CLI generator. Stackblitz also comes out of the box with the Angular language service. You have your components getting uh, uh, showing up in the IntelliSense, and uh, what we actually announced the other day, now you can even pull out your mobile phone, and over the air, you can have your application being hot reload and debug it, right? So it makes it really awesome to build progressive web apps with Angular quickly. For me to create a new project, all I have to do is just click on Angular, and boom. I now have a development environment for Angular. It's going to boot up, and that's my running application. It ships out of the box with hot reloading, so I can go ahead and just say ng-conf, See it hot reloads over there. No configuration to have to install anything, right? <laughs> now, for Angular specific features, uh, we have the CLI generators in browser, like I was mentioning. And it's, it's, this has got to be the coolest way to use the CLI generators, got to say. Uh, instead of having to open up a command line or anything and like CD to the right directory before generating it, uh, any folder in StackBlitz, all you have to do is just right click and they show up here. And so I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see all the different things I can generate inside this folder, right? Are those icons pretty? <laughs> so I'm going to uh, just generate a component here, give it a name, home component, I'm going to hit enter, and boom, immediately scaffolded this folder with our CSS, our HTML, TypeScript file for this component, and even imported it into our app module automatically, just like the CLI does locally. And you see it's yelling at me because we haven't installed it yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and use it anyways. And you'll see. Uh, this is a little piece of technology we made inside the dev server. So as you're typing, it's constantly looking at what modules you're trying to access. And if it sees something you're trying to access from NPM, uh, it'll say, hey, you don't have this thing. You do want to install it. And I can say, OK, yeah, you know I forgot to install that thing. And it installs the dependency. And then, boom. So it shows up, right? Thank you very much. Come on, find us if you want some of this stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you.